the walls and the things I saw in heaven. And the days are upon us. The days indeed are upon us. Now we must ask him for grace and for strength. For strength will be required to rise in, ride hard into the desert where there's no covering. But you ride in the name of your God. And great victories were wrought when one man summoned courage to stand against an entire platoon garrison. Bible says Shammah, the son of Age, he defended the field of Lentis and he smote the Philistines until his hand was cleaved to the sword. Hi, what kind of victory is that? Was that human power? He could not remove his hand from the sword again. They need bitter leaf with hot water to press the hand to allow it to release its grip. And the Bible says the Lord wrought a great victory that day. Hallelujah. The Bible spoke. Come with me. Because our description in a short while will no longer be bread and butter, but militants, soldiers, men that do not quake in the face of death. There's something bigger than death that has possessed them. Because this is the way we will face the God, gods of the nations and plant the banner of Christ amidst them. Not by picnic, disloyal Christianity something that has eaten up your soul but in burning fervency to jesus christ finally second samuel second samuel When the days come when God wants to identify his people as warriors, then a roll call must be made. A list of his warriors were kept from all generations. All generations. And that's why all of their weapons were preserved in a place called the Tower of David. That's where the, sword, the swords that conquered were kept. That's where all the shields that defended righteousness were kept. That's where all the anointings and mantles of the valiant were preserved in the Tower of David. Because warfare is something that reveals the might of God. And all his warriors are named in the chronicles of heaven. In the book of 2 Samuel chapter 23 verse 8. A roll call is fashioned here. A roll call. Just like a roll will be made in our generation. This be the mighty men of our time. Just like Idahosa's name was chief among the princes of his day. There will be a role that will have accommodation for you and me. But the, the point is, what will be written? What acts of valor will be captured concerning us? What might of war in securing glory for our king will be written by our name? Verse 8 said, These be the names of the mighty men whom David had. In this list, even the names of their fathers and their village was captured. The Taknomite sat in the seat chief among the captains. The same was at Dino the Esnite. He lifted up his spear against 800 whom he slew at one time. Now, we have different kinds of weapons in the armory. 
we have weapons that favor grip weapons that favor distance those are artillery weapons distance all kinds of weapons. they matter weapons that favor weight hallelujah so if you have valiant in your biceps the mattock will express your power much more it can do an end to a sword and a spear and when it drives and does damage to a human head the possibilities of recovery are bleak matter some villains some villains like tiberius they don't go for sword they go for weightier matters now so this guy if you know battle despair is a weapon it's an artillery weapon for distance it means this guy was caught unawares he was not ready for this war maybe he was in a restaurant eating and then the enemies broke upon him when he was falling his hand touched his spear eh? and with that spear he brought down how many men it <laughs> I always wonder what will be written concerning me if the chronicles of the annals of the mighty are recorded in my time. How many feats of might will I have to my name? The tack no might his village, the name of his village was captured first. Adino, the earth knight. They attacked him, fell on his pair. That was the only thing available. An artillery weapon, and he used it in close range and brought 800 armed men down. This one is, is known more to be a soldier than a disciple. And a day will come where the army with banners will ride. Nothing shall escape them. Ha! Ah, before them is like the Garden of Eden, and behind them a flame bonnet the appearance of them is that the appearance of horses are like horsemen so shall they run by the noise of chariots on the tops of the mountains like a people set in battle array the final look of the end time church is not the look of disciples humble in school it's a look of warriors men aged on the battlefield that when they cry, the devil knows today is a bad day. So awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. It's time to march on the land with vigor. Let the fury that the enemy gave us, let him sense the same fury when we march in power. Because the least among us will be as strong as David. He lifted up his spear against 800, whom he slew. How many times? There was no return match. He struck them once. May your spear be that spear that will bring down the giant of the territory and give peace into the hands of normal men. May your spear be that spear that will wound the witch until on her deathbed she can confess and say i killed them oh i killed them i killed them i killed them i'm the one i'm the one that did this i committed this atrocity i walked here i brought evil there i i smote but there was a spear he struck me i was high in my powers i thought nothing could pin me down nothing could subdue me until the techno night came in all of that account the feet of that spear it entered me ah! you see we are from the warrior clan you might go and they will tell you that you have no business with people God is a God of love God doesn't cause religion. and you come back you come back don't come back here because the next prayer point we lead we contradict that position we are a warrior clan that's what we do we cut things down we we penetrate realms that's what we do 
Have you read in your Bible that there's chastisement before peace? <laughs> so that's what we do. We secure the territory. So that, you know, when we came here, we didn't know we were doing something. Until that day when our studio got burned and the people in the place rose up to quench the fire. Some injured themselves. They say, this is the church cave we have been able to sleep. They were in sorrow and torment of witchcraft. It was the prayers of the warrior clan that gave them liberty. So in the day when fire gulfed the building, they stood up to fight. But none of them told us that our prayers brought salvation until the day of calamity. <laughs> Your spare had, has done some wonder, some havoc. It has renovated the place and shaped it. So that righteousness can dwell in it. There is a valiant that must rise from among your people. Skilled in all the ways of righteousness. Wise in all the ways of the wisdom of Christ. Strong in all the ways of the power that is in the spirit. And he will wield a weapon that will bring salvation to his people. That's why the name of his village was remembered. He was, he was who? He was a tactic. Adino the S night. May we read that book and see Joshua Osega. In the days of the peril and darkness had covered the whole land from, from Massey to Alede. In those days, there was a light. Oh my. <laughs> then they would make sure the names of the herbalists that fell on this account. Weapons of war perished. I want my name to be in this roster. Verse 9. And after him was Eliezer, the son of Dodo. Oh my. The Ahohite. One of the three mighty men with David. When they defied the Philistines that were gathered together to battle. The men of Israel were gone away. He arose and smote the Philistines until his hand was weary and his hand clave unto the, the sword. Oh, co, 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 co. Can you hear the sound of men coming down? Co, 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 co. Every time you hear that, co, one man has come down. Co, co, co. Three have come down. Co, co, co. Co, 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 co. That's the sound of tongues, tongues. Ba, co, co, ke, ke, co. Ka, co, 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 co. I can hear it. It's, it's burning in my veins. I'm from the warrior clan, so this is what we do. His hand was weary, but there was a power that held it on to the sword. Will you back out just because you are weary? Not, 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 not the son of Dodo. The son of Dodo can be weary, but you cannot remove his hand from the son. Who told you that your, your story ended when there's no mighty feet to your name? Dust your sandals. Dust. There's Johnny yonder. Rise and eat, for thy journey is yet far. I refuse to be defeated by the definitions of the defeat among humans I will rise until my masculinity clothes me I will rise his hand cleave to the sun for some of you in order for redemption and salvation to come to your family a man's hand must cleave to the sun cleave to the sun to the soul you may not feel what i'm saying you may not it's not vibrating yet because you have not seen the darkness it takes a great light to turn it back in those days even death itself seeing the brilliance of the light <laughs> we turn backward <laughs> can you pray in your heart as we still read the chronicle that no form of defeat, no form of despair, no form of depression, 
will ever weigh you down such that you look back on God and backpedal. But your hand will be as strong as your will. Cleave to the soul. Cleave to the soul. Cleave to the soul. And I'm in it with banners. Like the morning. Like the noon. They will rise. With intensity. With vibrance. With power. With might. Nothing can deny them access. No army. No skill. No weapon of war. Can turn them back. No number. Men whose hands are cleaved. Cleaved to the soul. Men that will go beyond the limits of weariness, the limits of infirmity, and find that in the spirit there is an answer to the infirmity of men. For the spirit himself, he helped our infirmities. Beyond weariness, there is a strength. Beyond, beyond the failing of human strength. There is a power. His hands cleave to the soul. Are you such a man that can fight when everybody is discouraged? The army had run back because when the Philistines appeared, they were armed to the teeth. They were armed with even sin guard. Their sin was protected. Their chest was protected. The head was protected. And Israel had only sword and spear for the day. The rest guys ran away. The enemy had bulletproof, but not the son of Dodo. He fought until his hand was weary and he cleaved to the sword. May it be that in the chronicle, Solomon Uka, so in a time where people fled from the face of ministry, he stood against hope he hoped <laughs> the chronicles will be read in the heavenlies may the congregation shout for joy when your own paragraph pops up these were the days of fear then arose donatus of Kwandi. you know they mentioned their village Uka of where is one local government again? Unkum, a light of Unkum began to glow, and the light gained intensity from one level of glory to the other until darkness was overcovered. Such were the testimonies of the valiance of God, and after him was Shammah. The son of Agi, the Hararite. And the Phil Philistines were gathered together into a troop. That means many garrisons. Where a piece of ground full of lentils. And the people fled from the Philistines. But he stood in the midst of the ground and defended it. And slew the Philistines. And the Lord wrought a great victory. Is there a ground? Is there a family that is kept under your watch? A people? under your battle cry and the bargain is this will you allow the territory to the devil or you will stand to defend it shama will never let go any ground to darkness he would rather die with honor such was the fate of the valiants that one man could bring down a troop one man could slay an army these were not giants like samson they were normal men with the strength of their God. Such are you. For the Bible says, in the noonday, the army with banners shall arise, and nothing shall be able to stand against it. Now we want to take the oath of office before we go. Rise up with your right hand on your chest. So that among us, 
men like Shammah can be found in the days to come. I want my name to be in that book. I may not ride a private jet. I may not have a duplex to my name. I may not be the richest man in my village. But that my name linger in the chronicles of the valiant of God. Who will stand for God in our land. Will you stand for your family or allow the devil to overrun them? Spirit of confusion seeks to shape the destiny of everyone that comes from that community. And the reason why you found the light was not because you were the best or the most cautious. You were supposed to be a lamp on a lampstand, bringing so much light that darkness fades away. You can see an opportunity in it, or you see danger. Where disciples see danger, soldiers see an opportunity. Men like Shammah, the son of Abi. Elias are the son of Dodo, whose hand was cleaved. Who is then for God in our land? Fight the war on faith's battleground. Lift the banner of Christ's eye, giving praise unto my King who will stand for God.